With the release of iOS 7 beta, we've got to look at some of the new features that's coming to iOS 7 and everybody else in fall. Um, one of those new features is called AirDrop. Now, with Android users being able to share stuff uh, when in close proximity with each other through NFC and Android Beam, one would imagine that Apple saw this and kind of went, we want iOS users to be able to do that as well. Now, AirDrop doesn't quite work the same way that Android Beam does. Um, Android users can use Android Beam just by simply putting the back of their phones together and tapping the screen and then stuff is shared that way. It's pretty quick and pretty easy. AirDrop requires a few more taps of the screen in order to get the same thing to happen. Um, but AirDrop is also a software change and not a hardware one like Android Beam is. Android Beam users actually have to have NFC built into their devices and a lot of Android devices don't have NFC. Uh, whereas AirDrop is a complete software change, so any device that has iOS 7 is able to share. Okay, now that we know what AirDrop is, uh, let's show you how to use it. First thing you gotta do is actually turn on AirDrop. So, we're gonna pull from off of the screen onto it, from the bottom, bring up our command center, and then you'll see AirDrop. Tap that, and then it gives you three choices. Off, obviously, is off. Contacts only, which means only people in your contacts will be able to see you, or everyone. Now, even if you select everyone, uh, it still asks you to accept when someone sends you a file, so it's not really that bad for privacy. I'm gonna do everyone just because. Uh, you'll notice it automatically turns on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because it uses those two things to actually send the files. And then we can pull that down. Then, just make sure the other person has done the same thing. And look for whatever you want to share. Now you can share things like photos, contacts, um, an app from the App Store. You can share stuff like uh, a location on the map, so long as you use the Apple Maps and not say another Maps like Google Maps won't work. Um, you can also share websites, so long as you're in a Safari and not another browser, uh, etc. Anywhere that there is a share button, um, which even some other apps, third-party apps have, uh, this will automatically be put into that and you can share things through this. So let's do a photo just to kind of show you. So that share button down there is the one you're looking for in any of the apps in iOS 7. There's a little box with an arrow coming out of it. Um, so you find what you want, you tap that share, and then it gives you your list of options that you would normally share. AirDrop being the very top, you just tap that. It starts to look for people, and you'll see their icon pop up if they have it enabled. So we have here, going to tap on her. And then you'll see what happens on the other device. It pops up and asks if you want to accept it. Of course you do. Scared monkeys, who wouldn't? Once it's done, it'll automatically open that or save it to your camera roll or open the website, whatever it may be. Um, and that's pretty much it. And there you go. So now come fall, you'll be able to airdrop the crap out of everything.